Content A. Guidance to write about the map 1. Introduction, map definition 2. Map comparison 3. Structures used B. Map sample 1. Map sample analysis 2. Map samples and suggested answers A. Guidance to write about the map 1. Introduction, Map Definition Welcome back to IELTS Channel. In this essay, I will instruct you on how to write one of the most difficult graphs in IELTS. As expected, it is map. First of all, we need to know what is map and what the difference is between map and other kinds of graphs. Map is a kind of graph which mainly focuses on the changes of one location, which can be the construction or demolition of facilities or landscape surroundings at the two different periods times. So it is important to separate map into comparative areas, which can be easily seen on the map to group similar information to analyze. Normally, map has three kinds of questions. One. Describe a map in present simple tense. This question hardly appears in the test because it only requires simple tense and no comparison. 2. Describe two maps. One is in present and one is in the future tense. We sometimes see this question when it describes the future development of a village, district, or city. The tenses used should be present and future. 3. Describe two maps, one in the past and one in the present. It is the most common question which appears in the IELTS test. This kind of question will require you to analyze the profound characteristics and sometimes provide the comparison for the expansion if necessary. The tenses used are the past and the present. 2. Map Comparison as mentioned in previous essays, MAP also has four parts as usual, Introduction, Overview, Body 1, and Body 2. The differences compared to other types of graphs come from the vocabularies and the structures used. Move to the vocabularies and structures used. We should get acquaintance with all the below sentences to have a perfect preparation for writing MAP. Firstly, we have to learn how to determine the correct directions with the given compass on the map to describe the development. The words and phrases should be learned are Three structures used. Now I will mention the most five frequent structures used in describing the map. One, the first structure is about the location. You can normally use the words of the direction I have mentioned above to describe the map. Verbs used to describe the location, be located in, be situated in, be positioned. For example, the new park is located in the northeast of the village. The old building is situated in the middle of the city. 2. The second structure is used to analyze the changes, movements, or stability. So we can utilize some verbs as below. For the changes regarding the size, we can use these structure. For example, the industrial park near our village will be expanded, become bigger this year, 
to cater for numerous workers from different places. To the appearance, movement, or replacement, it is useful to utilize these below structures. For example, the old university is decided to be demolished to make way for our upcoming car park. The upcoming car park will be constructed on the original site of the old university. As planted, the old university will be moved to the west of the playground to make way for an upcoming car park. The next structure used is to describe the stability of the place. Hence, the equation should be For example, the school remained unchanged for almost 15 years. 3. The third structure. It is often used in the overview part which brings the examiners the general information of the map. It is to describe the length, the population of the city or island. For example, the highway has a length of 15 kilometers. London has a population of around 8.9 million people. 4. The fourth structure. You will see on the map which combines the transportation system with area surroundings. Then this is used to describe the road as below. For example, the highway goes through the village from the west to the east. These are all useful structures you should know when you meet the map in the IELTS test. B. Map Sample 1. Map Sample Analysis In this part, I will guide you on how to write a completed map for Band 9. The diagrams below show the site of a school in 2004 and the plan for changes to the school site in 2024. First, take a look at the given map. The time for two maps is 2004 and 2024, so we can use the past and future simple tense. As I mentioned before, the first part is just simply paraphrasing the content of the question given. The word diagrams can be specified as two maps or two pictures. In this case, I prefer two pictures because this map is to describe the school place which will be reconstructed. Then we still keep the word site which is most suitable and add the word layout to describe the school overall. The time is replaced easily from in 2024 to in the year for the year 2024. So, the introduction should be The two pictures compare the layout of a school as it was in the year 2004 with a proposed site design for the year 2024. Moving to the overview part, look carefully at the map and find from one to two main changes of school and write it as a general statement without number. The big change for this map is the new construction of school building. So we can use some phrase like the addition of the new construction, the new erection of school building. And as a result, it will have more places for students. Hence, the word accommodate, welcome, contain can be used for further information. Then the overview sentence can be it is clear that the main change for 2024 involves the addition of a new school building. The school will then be able to accommodate a considerably larger number of students. Or you can rewrite this sentence as below. It is clear that a new school building will be constructed in 2024 to replace for the old site. Then the school can afford to contain larger number of students. For the detailed section, 
It is better to make a comparison between two periods of time in the same part, so we can see the differences clearly. First, we mention the number of pupils in 2004 and expected number in 2024 to explain the addition of a new school building. 2004 is the time in the past, so remember to use the past tense when describing 2004, because two buildings are on the opposite site, so we can use the path as a division of these buildings. The sentences should be, In 2004, there were 600 pupils attending the school, and the two school buildings were separated by a path running from the main entrance to the sports field. By 2024, it is expected that there will be 1,000 pupils, and a third building will have been constructed. Comparing two paths in the map, the new one is shorter and connected to the building so we can use the relative clause to describe the changes. The old building can be seen as the original building. We can use some words like join, connect, link for the combination of buildings. Don't forget to add the signposting word to make the map clearer, such as furthermore, in addition, besides. So we have the sentences, Furthermore, the plan is to join the two original buildings together, creating a shorter path that links the buildings only. Or, besides the connection of two original buildings, will make the path link the building shorter. Going to the last part, after mentioning the change of the building, remember to emphasize the reallocation or the movement of the original ones. Because the sport field was demolished to make room for the building, the new one should be erected. Then we can give the sentence of replacement that I mention in the structures used part like As the third building and a second car park will be built on the site of the original sports field, a new smaller sports field will need to be laid. Or, since the original sports field will be demolished, destroyed to make way for the construction of the third building and a second car park, a new and smaller sports site will be built to the east of the old buildings, almost opposite to the new building. Furthermore, due to the appearance of the second car park, a new road will be needed, so we can describe in some ways as below. A new road will also be built from the main entrance to the second car park. A new road will also be constructed to link between the main entrance and the second car park. The new second car park will be connected to the main entrance by the introduction, addition, construction of the new road. Ultimately, it is not a good idea to forget describing the unchanged places on the map. Then we have, finally, no changes will be made to the main entrance and original car park. Finally, the main entrance and original car park will remain unchanged during that period. Two, map samples and suggested answers.